what about ab and adduction? We know that the dorsal interosseous muscles AB duct and the volar interosseous muscles AD duct, but we have talked about how the dorsal interosseous muscles have bony insertions and the volar interosseous muscles do not. We've also talked about the dorsal and volar bellies of the dorsal interosseous muscles and how there is a bony insertion of the volar belly that can be considered a pure abductor. We've looked at this drawing which shows that the volar belly has less influence than the dorsal belly but nevertheless be, can be considered a pure abductor. Because of both the bony and the dorsal apparatus insertion it is not clear to me and I cannot determine it from the literature how much the dorsal apparatus insertions participate in abduction. However, think about synergistic motion. Think about the fact that when we abduct our fingers, the fingers are always extended. If the metacarpal phalangeal joint is flexed, the configuration of the collateral ligaments and the shape of the bone at the metacarpal phalangeal joint does not allow even passive abduction of the fingers when the MP joint is flexed. For that reason, we don't even attempt to abduct usually when we're flexed. And if we attempt abduction, we have to bring our fingers into extension or it usually does not allow us to do that. The volar interosseous muscles, even though they are our adductors, they insert into the dorsal apparatus. Well, does this make sense? Because now we can no longer imagine a synergistic. We don't adduct an extension but we do adduct inflection and because these muscles insert into the dorsal apparatus they contribute to MP joint flexion. So I would offer to you that the anatomy of the volar interosseous muscles is missing the bony insertion because it's obviously not necessary. We rarely tightly adduct except when we're in flexion. When we're gripping, we're in flexion. When we're cupping our hand, the MP joint is in flexion. So there is a concert between the natural adduction of the fingers at the metacarpal phalangeal joint because of the joint and ligament structures and the function of the interosseous muscles that are assisting with MP joint flexion and IP joint extension. It is flexion that adducts us and the volar interosseous muscles are assisting with the flexion of the MP joint. Cupping our hands to accept change or to cup water is indeed synergistic demonstrating adduction and MP joint flexion. A normal synergistic motion which is explained beautifully by virtue of the anatomy of the volar interosseous muscles.